Black ants and red ants are two common species of ants, often found in various environments around the world. When they come into contact, particularly in the context of foraging, or territorial disputes, battles between these ants can occur. Here's a detailed video of what might happen during such a confrontation. Encounter The encounter between black ants and red ants can happen for various reasons. It could be accidental, as both species explore new territories or forage for food. Alternatively, it could be intentional, as each colony defends its territory or competes for resources. Communication Ants use chemical signals called pheromones to communicate with each other. When encountering ants from another colony, they may release alarm pheromones to signal danger or aggression. These pheromones can trigger defensive or aggressive responses from both sides. Assessment Before engaging in direct combat, ants may engage in a sort of standoff, where they assess the size and strength of the opposing colony. They may engage in displays of aggression, such as raising their antennae or opening their mandibles to intimidate the opposing colony. Conflict If the standoff escalates, the ants may engage in physical combat. This can involve individual ants grappling with each other using their mandibles or using their bodies to block or push opponents. Larger ants may also release formic acid or other chemical deterrents as a means of defense or attack. Group Dynamics Ant battles are not just individual skirmishes but often involve entire colonies. The outcome of the battle can depend on the size of each colony, the number of soldiers present, and the effectiveness of their coordinated efforts. Strategy Ant battles can exhibit complex strategic behaviors. For example, some ants may act as decoys to distract opponents, while others sneak past to raid the opposing colony's resources. They may also engage in flanking maneuvers to attack from multiple sides simultaneously. Retreat or victory Depending on various factors such as colony size, strength, and resource availability, one side may eventually retreat or be overwhelmed by the other. Retreat can happen when the cost of the battle outweighs the potential benefits such as when the risk of casualties becomes too high. Aftermath After the battle, both colonies may undergo changes. The losing colony may need to rebuild and recover its numbers, while the winning colony may expand its territory or gain access to new resources. However, battles between ant colonies are not usually all-out wars. Skirmishes may happen periodically without resulting in the complete destruction of either colony. Overall, battles between black ants and red ants are fascinating examples of the intricate social behaviors and survival strategies exhibited by these tiny but highly organized creatures. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.